Hi everyone, happy Sunday. I hope you're having a great weekend. I'm just chilling today, I'm all snuggly. I'm gonna watch some Netflix and I'm going to unbox my March Birch Box. So I only got this yesterday and bit of a faff with the delivery. Not Birch Box's fault, they use Hermes to deliver. Normally I don't have an issue. But this time around, yesterday in the afternoon, I had an email to say your parcel has been delivered. Now, I was in the house all day and didn't hear anything. So I went outside, looked around, nothing. And I pulled up the details on the Hermes website and there was a picture of a door that was not my door and my parcel next to it. I then went on a bit of a hunt for this door that I'd never seen before. And it was on the other side of my street that I never go down, but it was there. So it took me a little while and a little bit of stress, but we got there in the end and here it is. So normally I would get a birch box, maybe like towards the start of the month, certainly when the dates are in like single digits. I only got this yesterday, so it's still in time. I mean, it's mid-March, so it's it's completely fine. But normally, I get it a bit earlier. So the theme of this month's box is all about female woman empowerment. Obviously, it was International Women's Day earlier this month, and that's why Birch Box have done a collab with Frida for this month's box. So let's have a look. We know there is a highlighter in this box because that was our choice of product for this month. The other items are a mystery. So, reading the little pamphlet, it says, Hello Birch Boxers, as a woman founded company, oh that's interesting, I never knew that, um, celebrating and empowering women is personal to us at Birch Box. Inspired by Frida, our partners this month, and in honor of International Women's Day, some of the products in your March box are from women founded brands. Okay, so I'm having a little bit of a look at the products that are in my box, a little bit of a sneak peek. So that's a bit strange because four of the five products in here have a little stamp next to them in the booklet to say they are female founded. So for the sake of one product and you know, to stick with the theme of the month, it might have been good to just swap it out for another female founded brand. So let's start with that product that we already know, which is the highlighter. It's a little mini size. It's from Ciate and it's the Glow 2 highlighter. Now I chose the shade Starburst, which from memory was like a champagne-y color. It's not coming out. Ah! Got it. Thank God I didn't drop that. Ooh, there it is. It's exactly what I thought it was gonna be. Let's swatch you. Oh, okay, it's quite pigmented, but not in your face. Let me just whack it on there. I am already wearing a highlighter today, so. There we go. Shimmer, shimmer, shimmer. I love a highlighter, and for me, highlighters, I prefer powder. Um, over kind of creams or liquid highlights. So I will definitely be using this. It's a small 1.5 gram sample mini travel size, whatever you want to call it. And this has a value of £7.80. Next, what are you? Oh, brave new hair. This is a conditioner for damage repair and weightless hydration. So I am really excited because I haven't had a haircut or anything in, in over a year. And actually I was probably due a haircut at the start of last lockdown. And then obviously lockdown happened March, 2020. And then, yeah, the world just went crazy. Everything closed and I know her dresses did open and I eventually got a uh, appointment booked for December. But that date in December, was the first day that the big lockdown then happened again for the second time. Here we are in March and I still, a year later, haven't had a haircut or color. But, and I know that every hairdresser is different in the way they operate with their bookings, but the hairdresser I go to decided to work through the bookings that got canceled first 
to kind of have like first dibs. So I do have an appointment booked very, very soon when I'm allowed next month and I can't wait. So this hair conditioner is going to go on my new hair. I mean, I'm not doing anything crazy to it. It's still gonna be long and brown, but the color needs addressing. My split ends need cutting. It really just needs a good tidy up. And then once that's done, I'm gonna condition it with this. I love Brave New Hair. We recently actually had a mask concentrate in one of our boxes. I started using that, it's so good. So just a conditioner, really happy with that. This is 75 mil and has a value of £3.45. I know I always say it, but with hair products, whether you get a shampoo or a conditioner, I like a set, I like to be matching. I don't know if there is a shampoo version of this, but I would have liked the two together. Next up, we have something from Magnetone London. Now this is the only product in this month's female empowerment box that isn't founded by a female. So this is the product I said at the beginning. For the sake of sticking with the theme, just swap this out and put something else in that was from a brand founded by a female. But anyway, it doesn't matter. These are wipeout swipes. They are eco-friendly microfiber makeup removal pads. I think we've had something similar in a box from Birchbox from Magnetone. Um, but these are cute. They are two little circular pads. They're really soft. I'm actually doing this tonight. This is take your makeup off with warm water only. I am skeptical because this is makeup is got a lot of staying power, but it says that you don't need to use a cleanser or any kind of product, just warm water and the microfibers just grab hold of the makeup and um, take it off. So I am all for being eco-friendly and using reusable stuff because I do sadly use disposable pads. I know it's bad, I know it's bad, but I use the bigger ones because I find with the smaller circular ones, I will go through loads of them, whereas with the bigger ones, even though they are bigger, I find I use less of them, if that makes sense. So I do try to be um, conscious of my kind of environmental footprint, but yeah, if these, if these work, then I will obviously convert. If you use them, let me know what you think. It just doesn't make sense in my head that all this face could come off with water. Two products left. Next up is something from Balance Me. I do like Balance Me. This is a BHA exfoliating concentrate. Let's read about this. Um, the BHA is salicylic acid, which is a rich concentrate. It's fast acting leave on chemical exfoliant. It works on the upper layers of the skin. It removes dead skin cells, fights blackheads, blemishes, enlarged pores, and improves hydration for a more youthful looking, brighter skin. Well, this is going to be something that I also use tonight after I take my makeup off. I will be using this. So this little bottle, this sample within this month's box is 30ml and it's got a value of £4.33. And last but not least, we have some, oh, little eye gels from a brand I've never heard of before, Butanique with a Q Beauty. Um, these are eye gel patches. They are meant to brighten, hydrate, and depuff your eyes. Oh, it's got cucumber, rose, green tea, and hyaluronic acid in it. So lots of very good um, ingredients in there. Not much to say about this. I do really like products like this. I just, you know, at the end of a long day, or, you know, even like, again, tonight on a Sunday, just to completely unwind and get ready for the week ahead, just to use something like this or a sheet mask, I, I live for it. So I always enjoy seeing products like this inside the monthly birch boxes. And this has a value of six pounds. So that's this month's box. So all in all, I am pretty happy with this month's box. I mean, it's not, it's not outstanding, but it's not bad. Um, I think the sizes of the products this month are really good, especially the Magnetone Microfiber makeup pads um, to get two in a pack, that's really good. Um, this month's box has a value of just over 25 pounds, so you are still getting your money's worth, even if you pay for the most expensive plan on a monthly basis. Well, there we go, guys. Thank you so much for joining me on another video. I really appreciate you watching. Remember, you're gorgeous just the way you are, and I will see you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.